Good morning students. Last time we have discussed about the classification of Thallophyta or algae. Now today we are going to discuss about the uses of algae. The first and very very important use of algae is they act in a fixation of CO2 by photosynthesis. We know that the algae are autotropic in the nature. So naturally they are in for the photosynthesis. So, in the process of photosynthesis, the CO2, that is half the amount of CO2 which is present on the earth, is fixed up by the algae. Therefore, they can make the oxygen available for the aquatic life also. They are the primary producers for the aquatic life. Food material. You know, algae is like porphyra, laminaria, Yafir sargassum, these algae are used as food material. As hydrocolytes, what do you mean by this? Some brown algae like algin or some red algae like keragin, they are used as hydrocolytes. I bar bar this word use kar rahi hu, lekin abhi tak iska meaning nahi bataya. What do you mean by hydrocolytes? Hydrocolytes are the substance like agar agar. What do you mean by that? Agar agar ya fir hydrocolytes aise substances hai jo agar paani mein ghol diye jaye to they will hold the water as the name suggests. Hydro that is water. Collides means colloidal mixture. So hydrocolytes are the substances which can hold the water and they form gel like solutions. Agar agar is used in the production of ice cream and jellies. There are n numbers of uses of agar agar, one of which is a laxative or the another use is uh, like gelatin, you know gelatin hai animal originated, lekin uske liye vegetative replacement bhi to hona chahiye. So here agar agar is a vegetative replacement for the gelatin. So again ice creams and jellies. As food for the space travelers, some algae like spirulina or chlorella, which are very very enriched with proteins, acts as a space traveler's food. So, students, these all are the uses of algae. If you like our channel, then please share and subscribe. Bye bye.